Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Tech It. Scrotitis playing. Hi, I'm Scrotitis. I'm here with you today and we're very excited because today we are going to be building a macerator. Ooh. <laughs> no, so uh, for anybody who doesn't know what a macerator does, is it takes ores and it turns them into ore dust. That dust then can be smelted into one ingot of that same ore. Uh, basically what it does is it doubles your uh, quantities. So prior uh, to a macerator, one ore equals one ingot. Now it will be one ore equals two dust equals two ingots. So the, there we go. And um, to kind of give you a perspective of where we are base layout wise, there's the, uh, the rubber tree farm that we built last episode. There is our wheat, uh, the beginnings of our wheat tower. There is our mine shaft branch mine. There's the tree lookout, the jungle that we hate. And this spot right here is where our macerator building is going to go. So uh, I am going to go ahead and start clearing out some land here. And I will be back with you guys in a minute. Alright guys, as you can see it took me a little while. Um, went through the night uh, and the sun's coming back up. But we clear out a nice big plot of land. Right in front of our temporary pumpkin farm. But I think it's going to work out best here. I want to try to start getting things on both sides. Because like I said, we're going to put a path right through this area and then I don't know if we're going to take it that way, that way or what, but uh, right now this is our, our base road so we need to start building up this right hand side and uh, we're going to start by building our, our ore macerator building. Uh, so I think what better place to start it than right here right now. Uh, got some half slabs I'm going to put down for a floor. I'm not quite sure the layout so we're just going to sort of fill this out as we go, alright? That looks like a decent sized platform. Let's put up a half wall around that and see where we are from there. Alright, well we didn't smelled enough smooth stone to be able to make this the full way around, but uh, you get the idea. You know, we might even use cobble. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how both look. That actually might look a little bit better. Maybe we'll do that. Let's check that out. somewhere it's a, maybe maybe we'll go we'll stick we'll stick with that I don't know we'll see anyway that's not the important part the important part is the actual machinery in the building so let's get to that I'm not I'm gonna put it off the wall just because I've seen these built where both sides have been needed so I'm gonna start right about here and since we are on half slabs we don't want floating machinery so uh, we're gonna clear these off I'm gonna put a little machine platform right here Alright, so here we go. I think we're ready to get going with our build. Uh, so let's go over some of the materials that we're going to need. Now this isn't anything specific, but uh, what I got is we're going to need tin, or tin ingot, copper ingot, iron ingot, refined iron, um, redstone, rubber, cobblestone, flint, wooden planks, glass blocks, 
and some wooden sticks. I think that's everything. All right, so first things first, we're going to have a macerator. With a macerator, you need to have power. So how do you have power, of course? With the first step of power, a generator. A coal generator, but a generator nonetheless. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a generator right here. In order to put that generator there, we need to make it. All right, so where's our crafting table? Oh, right out here. Here we go. All right, and to make a generator, we need... We need a machine block, and we need an RE battery. Well, we don't have either one of those, so let's see what goes in those. RE battery. Insulated copper cable. We're going to be needing quite a bit of this. Hopefully we have enough copper smelted. If not, we'll have to get to that. But what you got is you've got three copper ingots right across the middle, and that's going to make uninsulated copper cable. We need it to be insulated, so we need our rubber on the top and bottom just like that. And that gives us six, so that's pretty cool. We only need one for this, so we're going to hang on to that. Okay. So we're going to put our one insulated copper cable. Uh, four tin on either side. And then two redstone right in the middle. And we've got... So we've got our RE battery, we need a machine block. Now these are very simple to make, uh, and this is kind of why we have so much refined iron, is just eight refined iron, uh, just like you're making a furnace, but instead of cobblestone, you're using refined iron. So there's your machine block right there. All right, so we take our battery we just made, we take our machine block, and we take our furnace. We actually stole this from up in the treehouse. But I want to start transitioning things away from there, and boom, what do you have it? We've got a generator, so let's put that bad boy down. Um, one, two, three. I think I think this should be good enough. Right there. That's exciting. Um, should we put? Let's do it. That was probably dumb. <laughs> that was probably real dumb. We're gonna waste coal. Okay. Um, macerator. Let's get on to building our macerator, okay? So we've got the generator, and I believe you can just put it right next to it. You can use these copper cables to pass power from the generator like that. Um, but we don't want to do that. We want to save our space and make it nice and neat. So we can put our macerator block right next to this. All right. So to build a macerator, we need flint, cobblestone, a machine block, and an electric circuit. All right, so let's cover the electric circuit. That is six insulated coppers and copper cables, and we have five. So let's make another one. Three copper bar ingots in the middle, six rubber, three on either side. Boom, now we've got 11. We're going to put that on the top and bottom. We need more redstone. And we need one refined iron. And oh, look at that. Electronic circuit. Looks pretty cool. And it kind of makes sense the way we build it with the cables and everything. Uh, so the other thing, oh, we need another machine block so we know how those are made. All right, before I make it, I want to make sure... Yep, all right. We're going to put our machine block in the middle, the electric circuit. Oh, look at that. You can get your refined back by putting the machine block in there. Didn't know that. That's kind of nice. Refined iron can be downgraded, so good to know. Electronic circuit. Now, uh, we have cobble on either side. And macerator. We use this flint to chew up the ore. Macerator... And it's gonna rain. Of course it's gonna rain because we don't have a roof. <laughs> what do we need a roof for? Okay. And look at the power. Now that's cool. That's exciting. Alright, so we've got power. Um, we don't have any ore to test it. Shoot. Um, you know what, guys? I'm gonna go grab some ore. No, you know what? Let's let's get it all set up first, and then we'll test it. All right. So the next thing is the master. 
is going to chew up all this metal and it's going to spit it out and we're going to put it into a furnace. Because we're going to have these, uh, this dust now. So we, we need to put the dust into going to get into our second major thing in the tech kit packs. Uh, this actually comes from the build pack mod, which is engines and pipes. Okay? So what we need to do is make pipes to pass the materials through, and we need engines to actually uh, suck the materials through the pipe. Or uh, power the pipes. If you know, I like sucking stuff through the pipes. That's it. <laughs> anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to use redstone engines. They're the uh, safest out of the engines and least cost, costly to make. So uh, let's start with those. Uh, to make one of these, and I believe this is, I'm winging it here, we need two wooden claws. And one wooden claw is made just by placing sticks in the diamond shape. So In. A piece of glass and some wood across the top. Yep, there we go, there's one. In terms of piping, uh, the macerator, the dust is there on the side so it can come out the side in the furnace.
guys. So here we go. Um, I think I like it. I think we're set. We've got uh, coal in there. We've got power to here. We've got our furnace with coal in it. We've got our end of the saying this is where we're supposed to go. So, and we've got some wiring. I like it. Some simple redstone wiring going into the redstone engines. I think it looks good. Flip the switch. Engines go. Let's go get some more and test this bad boy out. Alright guys, we're back and we're ready to check it out. Let's see what happens. Turn on the switch. There's two. There goes one. guys see if I can sort this out all right guys here we go um, it's a little bit messier than what I had originally wanted uh, but let's see if this one works uh, I think the, the problem was that the uh, the pipes have to match the spots in the machine so for something to get cooked in the furnace it actually has to go in the top of the furnace and then it'll be output on the side where this is uh, same as this, it, this this position is what's outputted, so not, if, if this would be, then the ore would have been outputted. Uh, so let's put in our copper right there, and what we're going to do here, we're just going to throw our dust in here, and we're going to sit back and watch, hopefully, our, uh, watch our chest fill up with ore. Um, that's almost done. Oh, there's our first bar. There it goes. We did it. Not as great as I'd hoped, uh, but it got the job done. I like it. Oh, no, wait. We've got another problem. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, so I don't know why that ore didn't go in there initially. It's going in now. Um, I don't know. That was kind of weird. Uh, I guess I'll just throw them in there. And we'll just have to keep our eye on that. But look, there, there that goes. So, the system is working. I may actually end up doing this so that we can see the front of this. And clean that up a bit. That doesn't look horrible. Maybe... Maybe the whole front of that I'll do that with. Let's see what that looks like real quick. So uh, that's it for, for today, guys. Uh, hopefully that's not too short of an episode, and hopefully you like what we got going on. Uh, hope you learned a little bit. I know I learned a lot, so I will uh, be checking back with you guys next episode.